Hello, Pokey Dudes and Pokey Dudettes. Welcome back to this Christmas builds we're doing. Today, we're doing a little challenge. We can say it's in the little frost. That's who we're gonna make for this Christmas series. So, from the last ones, we learned about portions. And we done something he couldn't do because he forgot. So, um, well, I hold the head of my enemies. Get rid of it. Oh. Is that a spider? I might want to turn on peaceful mode. Done. Safe. Alright, so how we're gonna build li in the little frost is gonna be pretty easy. Um, we're gonna use some. We're gonna use certain arrays of blue. So like some light blue warm. His favorite lapis lazuli. He loves his lapis, doesn't he? And then there's gonna be some blue, um, some uh, a diamond, a little bit of pink, and we're gonna use some snow for the weight a bit, a little bit of snow, and lastly but not least, some uh, Oakwood. Actually, the shoes are rather darker. Uh, we'll go for a nice spruce, spruce wood. And I'm gonna make in the little wood. We're gonna do it over this side. So if we start by making proportions of feet still having the latency as you can see which is never never good all right so from this we're gonna go with the What's more of the skin colour? I guess the ice. Compressed. Does that work? Yeah, I believe that could work. that then. Go. Bloody computer. Okay, doke. Pop that there. Get the sandals going up again. And there we go, and we go around the foot. the start is a bit easy. 
nice and easy start. Just to keep the touches. rest of that goes about 3 pixels up, which we can do in the compressed ice with the skin. There we go. And I'll sort out the leg from there. 3, 2, 1. Oh my, it appears to be snowing. Well, um... I guess that will have to stay for a while, while I, uh... Anyway, I'm gonna have to keep the snow for now. Right, next up we do legs, which is a darkish colour. Um, that's what I'm gonna do for the shirt. Do -do -do -do. I guess this blue would be fine. Okay. So, um... From what we remember correctly... Um, legs and arms go up by 12... Oh god. By 12, so... That's about... 5... 1... 2... 3... 4... 5... And another two. And that'll be the legs. So I'll be back after I've done this shortly. And through random spotting, there are the legs. So, um, just to show you where we're going now. Um, this is the front. So we need to build, start building up the shirt. goes along like so and there's a bit at the back as well so if I bring the shirt around there's a bit just there and There and it comes around on the top. I'm just gonna fill in the last bit of the trousers and uh, yeah, be back in a tick. Alright, now that the trousers have been finished off, we f go with the light blue wool going all the way around the shirt. Best after. Th oh god! Mm. Fly, mortal! There we go. Now, I want to check something quickly. Mm. Alright. What about. Cyan. That do. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, just getting the in the 
just get in the in the little wood logo on using light blue. Oh god, don't want it to be 3D. As it curves. So if I work on that. Sorry about the jump cuts. If you want to know why I'm actually doing that, it's so I keep the video as short as I can, so you guys can enjoy your, your other Christmassy videos. You know, this is just a little countdown. Everyone wants a nice watch a nice countdown. Like I like to watch the um, Yogg's cast. As you can probably tell, and uh, the Christmas Adventure, which is I've been watching since the first couple of years, and that does the logo. No, it does go. Yeah, and that does the logo. Yep. That's how you do it. Now I'm just gonna. Finish off the rest of the shirt. Ooh, there's a. Yeah, I'll just finish off the rest of the shirt I can do, and I'll show you the next bit. Bloop. All right, before I continue with that, there's a bag that he wears on his skin, which I quickly want to sort out and address. So we're gonna use snow for do that as we go. One, a two, and then build from this bit upwards to that layer there. And that's where his shirt stops too. So build it up from there. Go. That is for the front. And it also covers the back. I can't, like, from this picture, I can't really see where it drops from, but I can look at the back and see where it ends from here. So, there's one layer before a bit here. Luckily, if he filled in some of the back... Oh, it's clearing up now. Uh, so we're just going to do the back quickly. So it goes one, two, there. Oh! And then there's a little bit here. So doing this, we can sort of determine where it goes. And then there goes one, two, three, four. Uh, while I'm doing this, I need to get more fabrics. Here to my advantage is pretty good. Um, there we go, and one, two, and let me just use the shirt. Let me just fill in the back of this shirt. I should have done that ages ago. But that didn't fill in anything. Give me a sec, guys. Radio. Um. Just so we have a nice bit on the back to do. The entirety of the back of the head is back is filled with his shirt mainly. 
but just to get the little thing up, so there, and then it bags itself. Well, that's convenient. And then just drag this along there. And then that should do the top as well, underneath the neck line. There we go. And then I'll just finish off the shirt and then we'll fill in the last little bits. So, uh, see you in a little bit. Ah, uh, reference. Alright, so what I can tell here, I'm just gonna go and guess. Boom, boom. That'll work. And on this side too, I'll guess. Okay, I guess here we do a boom boom. And there we go. And I'll continue building. Okay, so we're just going to finish off the shirt. Um, I believe we're done... No, we're not done with the snow, but we're done with the spruce wood. And uh, the blue wall. So we can use um, two other colours. I'm um, sorry, three other colours. I believe we're done with the... Mm, we don't really use the ice, so we can get rid of that. So the, uh, let's see, the bits we're using for the last little back bit are two types of orange. What I want to use is, actually it's more of a ready pink. Mm. Uh, let's use red and pink. <laughs> ready pink, red and pink. So we're just going to go with a nice red pink here. We're going to turn off the, up the brightness a bit. There we go. Um, so red in the middle, and pinks off the sides, and then on the back here, there is a black dot, so we're just gonna grab some, uh, what do we grab? Okay, let's just use the black stained clay, throw that away, there we are, there's the nice backpack. And there's the front. Now to do the top of the thingy, with top of top of the sh body part, which is actually just placing in the neck. And if you realise, it has been snowing actually, but other than the placing. So there another layer of oh there is another layer of snow on the creeper looks like someone's been given Santa the cold shoulder <sighs> my puns are terrible but I still do them it's so nice all right we'll just all right next up is the arms the arms are pretty easy to do actually um we just do a 4x4 four four cube. Ah, dang it! Off here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, hi, Santa. Just appear into existence again. 1, 2, 3. And go on. 3, 4. I'll just finish off that bit and I'll be back in a sec. Alright, there we go. Um, to do the arms, you just do compressed ice. Uh, roll well, like the normal skin colour down to here. And uh, you should be fine on both sides. So I'm just gonna finish that off so we can stop with the lag. Now, as you can see, our in the little wood. Uh, and the little frost is taking shape, might I say, um, making a, well, the shape of a square anyway, a cube. Um, so it's kind of like chiseling out ice, really. It takes time and a bit of patience. So, um, just finishing off with the head, which is also our. Uh, and if you remember correctly, we've gone through how we know how to do this. So I'm not going to. 
I might as well. Um, head is 8 by 8. Just start with a basic shape, basic base, and add in a few details that you need to. For, in, for example, in the little wood's head, um, the base is clear around the front. That's no, right, I did it from the back. Um, and use diamond for the hair, and around the back, it's like. Like so. Using the compressed ice to keep it all going. at the back here actually is rough. Oh no, where the lapis lazuli go? There it is. Need that. Um, there is a bit at the back here actually. That I wanna do. Oh, have I? Ah, uh, I have. The head's a bit wrong. While I sort this out, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so while sorting out the head, I built a 6x6 in the middle, just to give a little bit of an extra support when building the face. Alright, so I've also sorted out the bit at the back, so it's all in proportion, and if I can spin round, I've also sorted out the band, um, the arm, headband. So I'm just gonna build that up as well, quickly on the head, good thing I made it. And then I can just, oh god, frozen, put frozen it, build it round from there. I believe it's usually the hair that needs the most attention because most people do more detail in the head than the rest of the body just to give themselves a bit more better facial oops that did go out one and there we go that's that sorted um, I'll sort out the hair on the back of the head in a minute. I want to get focused on the eyes and stuff. Hello, Santa Claus and Creeper. Alright. So the eyes, I'm going to do the exact same colour as the hair. And there's a nice gap. And then we've got the snow. We'll look white the eyes. Two down, I wanna give him a usual Minecraft mouth, which is pink. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? It's like an animatronic, uh, Five Nights at Freddy style, like, um, who would be the best example? Bonnie? I believe Bonnie would be the best example. I'm just waiting outside. Ooh, creepy. So we're just gonna finish with the head here. Ha! Huh, that looks like a villager. Ha! Huh. There we go. Oh god, playing loud music downstairs. Give me a sec, guys. Ah, that's better. So as you can see, we've done the face. 
Um, let's just finish off with the ice blocks and then we can continue. We've got to get this right as is, so... Oh, there's a little bit of a detail on the head as well. Ah, uh, I don't want to miss that out. So it goes one up there, and then it's lapis. Oh, it's goes down a bit. Oh, right. That's wrong in general. Oh, I mean, tricky son of a gun. Martin. Right, I think I can get away with that, because, you know... Yeah, I think I can get away with that. Yeah, I'm just gonna get away with it. Ha ha ha! Turn. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna get away with the one. Yeah. Um, there we go. As long as we get all the right stuff done. I know the bandanas are. Um, this headband's a crucial part of his skin, but you know, maybe we can get away with it a little bit. Uh. off the head then. There we go. Mm -hmm. Gone dark again, there we go. Have I got this wrong? I have. Minecraft heads. Can't get me correct the first time, you're not gonna get me correct the second. Alright! Ah, well, no. I'm gonna have to make a mistake here. I'm gonna have to do it like that. But didn't it doesn't look normal. No, Yolo Shwidget. Leave that there. Should be fine. As long as we get the hair correct, I guess. It's the problem with building skins like this. You ain't gonna get it correct, correct, but you can get it the best you can. Like so. That side done. Let's go on to this side. I'll try our best with this bit. I might be in a big plonker, actually.
Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and here is Glorious in the Little Wood and his full detail. screen and there is our thumbnail haha <laughs> now I can move this weather <laughs> now if you enjoyed today's episode please leave yeah you know so um bye bye <laughs>